Good morning. Good morning. Hey. Good evening. This is what our load looks like. Just a bunch of dunnage. But we're in a rush. We're in a rush, in a rush, in a rush. Okay, I lost five minutes more than I wanted to. Let's go. We're pretty short on time. Because uh, they gave us a lot heavier of a load than the load was supposed to be. It's only supposed to be 25 pallets and we've got 50. So we're twice as heavy as we're supposed to be. And the boss has got loads lined up as if we're light load. So we took pictures and sent it to the boss and he goes, okay, thank you. I'm gonna have to charge him a little more for that because it's gonna screw things up a bit. I'm like, uh-huh, that's what I figured. Engine brakes on. There we go. Okay. Don't want to go faster than 60 kilometers an hour down this hill with a load this heavy. Whew. Yeah, so we're going down Mine Hill. Just as she has nothing to say. Not much. Well, you better come up with stuff because I'm all excited. About what? I don't know. Figure that out. You don't know what you're excited about? It's magic hour. It's the best time of day to shoot videos. I'm just in a rush. That's probably all I'm excited about. Is the fact that I'm in a rush. <laughs> okay. Let's see if we can make up some of that time. I'm hoping to make it to the Castle Guard rest area, just north of Castle Guard. Uh, getting getting uh, through Smilkameen will decide because we don't make up any time going over Richter, Anarchist, Eholt, and Paltz. And we just don't make up any time on that. So we got some flat area here. We should be able to make up some time. We'll see if we can make up enough. Burn the candle on both ends today. and then we'll go through Princeton and then follow the Smilkameen down Smilkameen Valley. This is called Mine Hill for obvious reasons because there's a huge mine here. The hill itself is made because of a mine. The road got diverted from the original road because of a mine. Mine Hill. What were you going to say? Oh, I'm, I'm reading a news article. Oh, yeah? The sun produced its biggest flare in 11 years. Do I need more northern lights? That's kind of what causes the northern lights, right? When the sun does a flare, how long till we get the... When the sun does that big flare, how long from the flare till we feel the effects of it? I don't know. Is it like instant or is it a couple of days or? It follows it nearly a week of flares, right? Which we were getting northern lights. For That's why days. we were getting the northern lights, yeah. It was. That's just a the weekend geometric magnetic sorry, storm caused one of the environmental satellites to rotate unexpectedly because it reduced altitude from the space weather and to go into safe mode. More sun flares mean satellites are going to do some funny things. And then they have the astronauts on the space station staying in areas with strong radiation shielding. It's quite the thing. Yep. Alright, we're down Mine Hill. I didn't see a bear on, a, on that corner, huh? Or the, this is the corner we saw the bear, right? Right here. This is the corner we saw the bear. Not only once, we've seen it again since then. Uh, we saw the same bear in the same corner. So we've seen a bear three times this year, but 
two times it was the same bear on this corner here. I was a few days apart and I joked around that it just stays there. But it wasn't there last time, yesterday. Nope. Right here on that corner. No bear there today. I don't see any foreign stumps. Switch back. We have a little hard climb and all the vehicles behind us will pass us. I think only three of them I think behind us. Oh, maybe more. At least three. that join button down below um, your name's not going to show up in the credits until two weeks give or take later two to three weeks later so if you guys hit that join button and at the end of the video you don't see your name quite yet remember it's delayed by a couple of weeks but also if you decide not to be a member anymore your name will continue showing for a couple of weeks after you stop being a member so the end it all evens out. Speaking of, I have to go through some of my members because I see some of you guys change colors, so maybe I need to send out some more stickers. Uh, if I have time on the weekend, I might go through that. See, see if anybody needs an update on stickers. So the answer is, it can take a few days. A few weeks. A few days. A few weeks. For the solar flare, or the lights. Oh, the solar flare. I'm like, I'm talking about stickers in a few weeks. The answer is it can take a few days. I'm like, no, that's not at all what we're talking about. So it can take a couple of days for that uh, radiation to get from the sun to the earth. So there's a chance that this weekend will be crazy more than lights. Maybe. A lot of deer. Oh deer. I, I really like the Northern Lights. I still think about it. Uh, yeah, you finally got to see real Northern Lights. She just wanted to stay out there all night. I'm like, I need sleep. You bring your walking shoes. I didn't even put on socks. I just ran out the door and drove <laughs> to a dark spot. Then you hear the 
but his sprinkler's turning on and he just book it. I just said, run! <laughs> We're laying on the grass all of a sudden. <laughs> Whoa! We're about to get a bath. We didn't. We didn't. We were quick enough. We beat all the air bubbles. The air bubbles are there as a warning. But it's not the first time we've had a counter with sprinklers where we had to run for our life. Actually, I thought about that yesterday when we listened to a podcast, No Dumb Questions. And he was talking about how Italy, Rome, no romance. And like, that's the kind of stuff we just did, right? Just random stuff. We, we didn't go to the touristy places. Do the random stuff and just see what adventure brings you, right? Like running from sprinklers. Some good memories there. If you think we're crazy, just go to the spot with sprinklers and just wait for it. Well, no, it's not the same when you wait for it. Okay, don't wait for it. Set it up so your spouse doesn't know. Oh, come on, that's a little funny. I guess. I saw a stump down there. I'm like, is that a new stump? I'm not quite sure. Sent down into Princeton, grab a couple of gears. All right, we made up one minute. We're basically 24 minutes short of making it to where we want to go. And I've got the GPS programmed for an average speed of 70 kilometers an hour. And I know between Princeton and uh, US border, it's flat. We're gonna be doing an average of higher than that. So that's the only place where we can beat the time on the GPS. After that, our average will be 70 kilometers an hour. We're just not gonna make any time on the GPS. We'll see how it goes. Even if we get to the top of Pulse or sleep at Nancy Green or something, that's already really good. I agree. Let's reload and head back to where we just were. Yep. Let's do the same run twice. It's keeping the company so busy that we see every trap line truck though. Every, uh, well, right now, well, not really. There's, there's the guys that do the Ontario run. Okay. That are dedicated Ontario uh, runs. I would say the five Sutco <laughs> trap The five Sutco <laughs> drivers that <laughs> move to trap line are basically dedicated to this project. Talk to one today. We should pass them if we haven't already. We passed another one. Um, we saw uh, another one yesterday who's in front of us. Today. That's what I said. But okay. So I'm like, uh, we're in contact with all so of them. He's on vacation. We've seen Mary. We should see Brian and Jeff today. Jeff, if he's in front of us heading the same way, we won't see it. Uh, he should have loaded today morning. So maybe he'll be in the bottom of the and hill maybe. here. <laughs> Don't know. No. <laughs> um, he's probably unloaded already wherever he is. He's probably sleeping at KMT mm -hmm. tonight. That'd be my guess. Depending on what his run was. But basically doing two trucks a day over there, so yeah. keeping us busy. Eight, eight Super Bs in four days. 
Well, they even had a different company truck behind us pick, today. Pick up one of the loads, yeah, because we couldn't, we couldn't stay on top of it. It's a busy week. It's a very busy week this week. Man. I feel like ice cream, but I know we do not have time for that. Oh, I definitely feel like ice cream. On the weekend. My stomach could really handle some right now. <laughs> Maybe even go to Tickle Bears. Oh, that's going to be a long weekend disaster, but yeah, let's do that. I don't mind the disaster as long as. As long as you take that into consideration, go like, okay, if we go there, there's going to be like an hour long lineup. But as long as you make that part of the adventure, I don't mind it. Especially in a place like Pickleberries where you go, the lineup isn't terrible. You can look at all the other stuff and gadgets and all the stuff for sale while you're in the lineup. to find a new favorite. A new favorite? And now they don't they don't No, I refuse to get a new favorite at Pickleberries. They don't always you know I don't care. When they have it, that's what I'm getting. But you need a different favorite. No, no. Peanut butter binge is gonna be my favorite no matter what. One of my favorites I usually get is the coconut and the lime mm. that they make in-house. They don't always have it. I usually try to, to get a new fa flavor every time. So I carry like, I don't know, 50 to 70 flavors, depends on the day. Talk about now it's ice cream. And now it's ice cream. This is why this is always my favorite time of day to shoot. Either first thing in the morning or in the late evening. Not even late evening, in the evening. When the sun is low in the sky and we're driving away from the sun is the best video. But the lighting is always the best when you're driving away from the sun. So often that dictates where and what I shoot. I, ra I railroaded your ice cream uh, uh, conversation. No, I, I moved on from that. Oh, okay. What, what are we talking about now? I was saying that's the same theory when you take a photo to always have the sun on your back. Yeah, true. Look into the sun when you're taking a selfie. Yes, look, yes. In, yeah, yes. look into the sun. But then you might have the shadow of your phone on your face too. Yep. Uh, you gotta figure that out. It's plus 20 degrees Celsius. I don't think we'll see any more snow until fall. Jinx yourself, will you? No, I'm. I'll take the snow over smoke. <laughs> yeah. That's not a jinx. I, I I hope I jinx myself on that one. After Princeton, you go into this narrow, narrow valley here. Smoking Mead Valley gets really narrow. Tell you what, 
having a max weight load like this, a top heavy max weight load, going eastbound feels different because most of the time we have like partial loads coming back out of Vancouver. So all the corners kind of give you that extra little, ooh, okay, that corner caught me off guard. We've got to slow her down a little more. Milkabing River is sure muddy. That's what I was telling you. It was, it was so crystal clear at Mini Park and then it got muddier and muddier. drives 15 to 20 kilometers below the speed limit. I've passed them three times. Because he keeps pulling over. Well, I've passed them once he went and it's pulled over. I've passed them twice on the highway. And uh, I don't know if I can pass them one more time over here because now we're on the section where there's very few passing opportunities. I was seriously hoping he was going to stop in Princeton for some food. Maybe he lives in Karameas or something. He's like, no, I'll just go home. Maybe he's going to be slow enough that we can pass him. Maybe he'll be polite and let us pass him. Only we were 20 seconds further up. Exactly. We, never we could pass them here. Although that oncoming traffic. Oh boy. Okay. Never mind. We're just going to go for it. Hallelujah. Did he pull off or is he back on the road? No, he's back on the road. He just pulled over for us. Are you sure it wasn't for that crazy budget vehicle? Well, I don't care, but he pulled over and he was polite and <laughs> thank you. I appreciate whoever the heck he pulled over for. It worked out for us. I was not looking forward to being stuck behind him for the next hour. Well, he probably was like, that truck again? Probably had the same thought. Oh yeah, by the way, there's an ASMR video coming up on the other channel. It's only going to be an hour long, and I know, I know we have audio issues, issues on that. Apparently the camera was touching the window, and it picked up all sorts of... I thought you were trying to reshoot that one. What's that? I thought you were trying to reshoot that video. Yeah, that is a video I would like to try to reshoot, yes. But we need time for that. Yeah. And we don't have time this week for that.
I have an idea for for audio for the ASMR video. I have no idea if it's gonna work. I would like to take like some kind of maybe like a rubber made container. And yeah, that might melt underneath. I'm like it's gonna melt so put some kind of container under the hood. Well, if, it, if it's like attached to the hood. Attached to the hood, it shouldn't melt. I like they sell glass ones, but you're gonna pay a lot more for glass. Yeah. I need to. I'll, maybe we'll go shopping this weekend. See if I can find a container that I can attach to the inside of the hood, and then put a microphone inside of a cloth so it doesn't vibrate, and shake, or maybe a, just throw it in a tube type of thing. And you see what kind of audio we get out of that. Hmm? I'm scared. You want to go shopping. You, 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 you always come back with more. See what kind of audio we get out of that. If it's really good engine audio, that'd be awesome for the ASMR. Hey, that, that mountain there is kind of cool, isn't it? With the sun behind us. All the mountains are cooler with the sun behind us. I don't know. I think it's worth experimenting, trying to get some really good engine noise for the ASMR. It would just make sense, right? I'm not disagreeing. It's just a way to do it without melting things or uh... without melting the. Well, if if the case, if if the Rubbermaid container me melts, the microphone itself would melt. Exactly. So we have to find a place cool enough that we could put a plastic container. Without, out of the wind, but close to the engine, so we get to get more of a raw engine sound. I don't know. I have ideas, and we will have to experiment. places I could mount it, bolt it onto a frame rail. There's holes all over those things, right? Pre-drilled holes, pre... I, I will literally just have to spend the day with the hood open and going through and seeing where I can place it and then experiment and see if it works or not. It might be a complete fail, who knows, right? even come up with a couple places where I could mount it just in case the first video is a complete fail. Let's try a different spot. Find out where the audio is the best. And can we even eliminate uh, wind noise under the hood? We'll see. We'll see how it goes. I have ideas. We have to think about if we want to... I think that's this weekend. If we want to go to the Stampede or not this weekend. That is this weekend. Yep. There's also a roller derby. And There's a lot of things going on this weekend. We might have to sacrifice some of those things. We'll see. Yep. Berries is in the opposite direction. Yep. We won't be able to do all the things we want to do. We honestly don't even know if we're leaving Sunday or Monday or what our weekends are. Yet. Yeah.
What? What? Oh, well, you want the chicken going? Yep. I agree. Let's have the chicken going. It's better at a low temperature, right? Um, I think at home we did 350. Well, I don't know what number it is. I know. Uh, I put it at 3 o'clock. Maybe. <laughs> That's where I put it now. I, 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 I put know. it at 3 o'clock. Whatever temperature at 3 o'clock is on, on that gauge, is that's where I put it. Just add the right check and put some homemade chicken tenders in the toaster oven. Experimenting with that too. chicken tenders I do like a buttered milk but then I the breading and the breading I season it with rotisserie chicken seasoning that you buy at the store so it's a slight flavor of those Frozen section at the store upsets our stomachs. Yeah, the but homemade doesn't. Yeah, exactly. The homemade is so much better. Like in the pinch, if we reset somewhere, we'll buy something we have to, but we usually know there's a cost to pay. That's one thing we haven't figured out yet. If we go to Ontario, reset, how we're gonna. Restock the fridge, yeah. yeah. But I honestly don't see we're getting Ontario run anytime soon. With this project going up at Vancouver, I honestly don't see us doing the Ontario run until the winter. Yeah. Because this project, 10 stories, is going to keep us so busy down there making the company lots of money, so they're going to keep us here. They're halfway done with level four, so we have to do there, do like... They're moving fast. They yeah. are moving fast. We'll be done by the end of summer. At the rate they're going. Whether or not we're bringing any of the actual X's. Or yeah, that's going to be the last thing. Yeah. I'll be neat. But they might be too big of a panel for Super Beast. Yeah. Or it might go on quad decks. see part of the hive. Yeah, that would be kind of cool in person.
coming up to Headley. Crazy gold rush. Has actually Henley's got that huge copper mine at the top. Not huge. For the time, it must have been huge. Has an open pit copper mine at the top. That's pretty cool. But they've got lots of uh, underground uh, mine uh, tunnels as well. Fucking mining makes me want to play Terraria. <laughs> How many hours do we have into that? We've never finished that game. No, I'm not really into finishing the game. <laughs> I'm more into just building stuff. I don't even like going into hard mode. <laughs> no, we, I think we've done that once and then we stopped playing. Yeah. slow. I actually see the spot where the open pit mine is up there. by accident. Yeah. Plotting in the back. Old logging roads. Yep. All of a sudden I'm like, hey, what is this? Come up to, oh, open pit mine. built this building on the right hand side here or in progress of. I wonder what that's going to turn into because the visitor center is on the left over there. Will this be the new visitor center or? I'm not sure. But I really like the finish. The like old school finish. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Kept it old and kind of modern. It's an old church I think. The way they renovated it doesn't look like a church anymore. Well, that was Headley. I would love to see this old Continental Hotel be rebuilt and have the rooms old school. Well, if you want them to be Continental, you can't change. Room sizes or anything. They're very picky about if you want it to be called that. Unfortunately, Headley's a little bit far away from any city centers. So it's 
got a lot of cool history to it. It's a little too far away. And the Spilkeming River is not big enough to do year-round or at least all summer like rafting and stuff. In spring you can do rafting. But it's not even white water. So there's just not enough tourist attractions here. Take that road if you're not too squeamish and not you're okay with gravel roads. Head up that road and don't come back down this way. Just keep driving on it. The amount of switchbacks on that road is pretty crazy. Beautiful viewpoints. There are some hidden mines up there, gold mines too, that we've gone slugging in. Yep. We've gone very deep into those mines and basically went into an entrance and never came back out of that entrance. It is a seasonal road though. Definitely seasonal. Don't, don't even think about it in the winter. Definitely seasonal. Well, since we've gone through Headley here, it's probably a good Spot to call it a video, huh? Yeah. We're gonna keep hammering down, see if we can get anywhere close. Any, any anywhere past Grand Forks, I'll be okay with. I'll be happy with. If I make it all the way into Castlegar, I'll be thrilled. So we'll see how the we'll see how tomorrow goes. We'll be back to the. The same load we had going to Vancouver again. I don't know if it'll be oversized or not, but our last one was not oversized. We'll see if the next one's oversized. Some of them are. It's kind of 50-50 on that. Okay. We are out of here. You guys rock. Thank <laughs> you.